Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about plugins in WordPress. Firstly, guys, I want to tell you what are plugins. Guys, plugins are used to extend the functionality of WordPress. Suppose, guys, I have created a simple website of a restaurant. Now, I, I want to enhance the quality or extend the functionality of my website. What I can do with it? I can add a MS slider. I can add a gallery plugin. I can add a contact form plugin. Or I can add a reservation system or booking system plugin means it will enhance the quality of my website guys I wanna tell you some plugins are will be uh, you will see on the front end and some some plugins you will not see in see in the front end like if we will talk about image slider you will see image slider in the front end means on the website but if you will talk about uh, backup plugins means a uh, plugin which will take the backup of your website you will not see in the front end. It will only it will only see by the administrator. So some plugins will be uh, will be seen by the end user, and some plugins will be seen only by the administrator. So in this video, we will install. Uh, if I'm not, I, firstly, I will tell you how can you install plugins. We will work with two plugins in this tutorial. So firstly, guys, I will change my theme. I will go to themes and I will select this uh, 2012 theme. And I will go to the browser and refresh it. This is the theme. Now, firstly, guys, I will tell you that how can you set home page as your default page. So you need to go to settings and you need to click on readings because otherwise it will show current post on the front page. I don't want to show current post on the front page. I want to show the home page. I will click on a static page. You will select a front page I will select home and I will select uh, I will not select post page right now I will refresh the browser now this is the home page now firstly I will add a slider to the front page so firstly I want to tell you that how can you install a plugin you need to click on the plugin firstly you will you will see the list of the plugins which you have already installed these two plugins will be installed by default this is not uh, held only is not a plugin and uh, this is the plugin which is used to stop the spamming in content uh, comments section so if you want to install a new plugin you can click on add new plugins uh, the way of installation of plugins are same as the images oh sorry themes uh, which we have done in previous tutorial if you have plugin on your computer you can upload it like you can search on the uh, Google and you can uh, firstly you need to download it to, to the computer and you can upload the zip file and or you can search it from here uh, like you can see uh, if I want to add a slider you can simply type the slider or I want to add a meta slider which is the name of slider so I'll enter meta slider and search plugin or you can search it from here meta slider wordpress plugin you will see this is the meta slider you can see the ratings as well and its version and you will you can also see the description you can also check the details to click on it this is the plugin you can see this is the full description of the plugin and these are the features of this plugin and now you can also install it from here you can download it from here you need to click on download and download will become in a moment Actually, my internet connection is not working well, so that's why it is taking so much time. So, otherwise, you can install directly. You need to click on install now. So, I have downloaded the plugin on my desktop now because my internet connection is not working so well. So, I need to upload it from firstly, I need to download it and then I will upload it because if I install it from right. Uh, click on install now then it will return an error because my internet connection is not working well so I'll click on upload if your internet is working well then you can directly click on install now and then you can click on activate choose a file select the file this is the file and install now activate plugin 
Guys, I want to tell you one more way uh, to install a plugin. You can go to your location of uh, folder. I guess what plus English. You need to go to WP Contents, click on Plugins, and you can place. Firstly, you need to extract the folder, and you need to place that folder inside this plugins folder. So now the plugin has been installed. I will show you that how can you work with it. You need to click on Maca Slider. Guys, I want to tell you that every plugin has a different functionality. Means, uh, you will. Uh, means every plugin has different way of organized means you will organize or you will use every plugin in a different way so firstly you need to click on create a slideshow click on it now which slider you want to use I will click on this responsive slider or you can also select new slider coin slider it depends on each other so I'll select the uh, responsive slider you can set its width. I will set it to 885. And you can select the themes. You need, you want arrows or not? Should this slider will should be autoplay or not? You can select the uh, change the time of uh, delay time or animation speed as well. Then you need to add slides. Means you need to set the images. So I will select the images. This is first image, and I will add one more image. You can also enter the description here. So I will enter jellyfish. Then I will add one more slide, and I will upload images. Then it will be penguins. So add to slider, and just click on save. Now guys, if you'll go to the bottom, you will see a short code here. Guys, I want to tell you, short code is used to access the plugin in the front end. Means if you want to access or use some plugin in the front end, you, need, you can use short codes. Here are two ways. You can also use PHP. In the next video, I will show you that how can you use PHP in WordPress. So in this, we will use this. What do you need to do? You need to copy it and go to the pages. home and just paste this inside this page and click on update and just refresh the page you can see the slider has been added so you can say in this way you can extend the functionality guys if you want to get information about this plugin you can click on install and that how you can install and description and you can also see the screenshots or some plugins will give you tutorial that how can you work with that plugin so you also you can also check the screenshots of that plugin means how it will be appear and how you can work with it and in this video we will use one more plugin it will we will use that plugin for take backup so I'll click on add new so I'll simply type backup I think spellings are wrong. It's backup. It will take the backup of my WordPress website. So I'll uh, use this one. Protect your website in easy and fast way. Backup your WordPress site to Dropbox, FTP, or log server. You can click on install now. You can install this plugin. Now you can activate the plugin. Click on activate plugin. Now you can see. Click on ready backup. Now you can see backup site, backup now, or you can adjust the uh, backups. Like you can schedule backup. Uh, you can take uh, backup to every hour, every day, every twice day, every month, every week. You can also select so you can also select the Dropbox app, uh, application key or a secret key to take the backup. So in this way, you can uh, so guys, you can see this will plugin will not be uh, will be visible to the front end user means uh, end user, but this slider plugin will be 
available uh, means will be, uh, the end user or the website viewer will be able to see this plugin so every plugin has its own functionality so you can also use gallery plugins you can also use e-commerce plugin which will convert your website into e-commerce website which we will cover in upcoming video so so guys today your task is to work with different different plugins like you can also think about uh, contact form plugin a gallery plugin uh, like uh, a back uh, backup plugin or many more it means you need to think that what are your requirement on what kind of website you want to work and then you need to uh, search the plugin on the internet or in the search bar here or uh, in the search bar here add new and you do search here so you uh, to, your to the task is this so Guys, if you have any question, you can go to my description forum or you can leave a comment below. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.